while well, scientists are looking at broadcasting Earth's location to aliens. A NASA-led team has prepared a new message known as the beacon in the galaxy, which scientists want to beam near the centre of the Milky Way. Joining me now live is astrophysicist and cosmologist at ANU, Brad Tucker. Brad, good to see you. Now, how exactly would this message reach aliens? So, yeah, the idea is this, and it's kind of flipping the equation of for what we do to look for signs of intelligent life. So sending a very powerful radio message out towards the galaxy. Now, the idea is we have lots of new, big, powerful radio telescopes. We have lots of better ways of encoding and, and cont containing the information in these radio signals. And for when we look for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence around stars, we look for radio signals that are uh, abnormal, very powerful. They go on and off. They're not just kind of this constant hum, as most things in space are. So the idea is if you beam this message towards the center of our galaxy, hopefully in the very distant future, a civilization may be searching and pick it up and say, hey, there was, or at least there, and sometime in the past, there was intelligent life on this planet, that being Earth. Okay, so are we talking about a sound, essentially? That that would be what would be beamed? Yeah, kind of like a, a, an encoded message, right? But, yeah, it's a radio frequency that... Uh, the reason we choose radio frequencies is they travel a little bit easier than sh shorter wavelengths, as we say, optical light. So the reason radio waves can go to radio stations all across the large areas because they, can, they have long waves so they can travel far distances. And so we think if we have a powerful enough radio signal sound, this can travel really far across the galaxy, but still be heard uh, and picked up. And by going towards the center of the galaxy, so we're kind of towards the edge. We're not at the edge, but you know, about two thirds towards the edge. So we're gonna go towards the center where there's a lot more stars and by a lot more stars, we know a lot more planetary systems. And so there are a lot more potentially habitable planets towards it. That's a really fascinating topic because I even was reading that some scientists are warning against sending Earth's location out there in the galaxy because we, we risk sending our location. Do you agree with that? Look, I mean, and it's fair because, right, you know, it's kind of like saying, going to a stranger, you know, posting on social media, here's my address, here are my weaknesses, <laughs> how do you get in? Yeah, it does question some of that. Now, the one problem, I guess, or the lack thereof is when we're talking about this, we're actually talking about something far into the future. So it will take time for these signals to reach there. And even if you're a star system 200 light years away, you're not going to hear this signal for 200 years, but then you would have to reply, which would be 400 years. So everything we're talking about here is less of, you know, a sign or contacting um, for us, but rather in the distant future, some civilization would realize they're not alone and hopefully have that benefit. So uh, definitely an interesting idea but one I don't think we have to worry about. OK, well, good to know, but still that uh, never-ending search for aliens, it's, a, it's certainly a fascinating one. Now, let's move on to our next topic. A new type of explosion, a yes. micronova, has been discovered. What exactly is this? So, um, firstly, we have supernova, and that's when and the entire star explodes, so kind of igniting an entire star. Sometimes, though, on the surface of the star, you get a buildup of gas, and that gas ignites. So instead of the whole star erupting, just part of the star does, and we call that a nova. Now, this new discovery realizes that if you have a small star, like a what we call a white dwarf, something our sun will be in about 5 billion years, this can suck off the gas of another star. And in doing so, it can pile up itself onto it uh, and ignite it. So it's kind of like dropping almost a nuclear bomb on the surface of the star, igniting and exploding. So very small explosions, but only happen for a very short amount of time. That's why we call them a micronova.